Hi, welcome to our new video lesson about the structure of the University of Szeged Klebersberg Library's website and the content it has to offer. We will focus on the most useful areas for students. The University Library's website is available at www.ek.szta.hu and if you type this into your browser bar, you will see this homepage. Here you can immediately see one of the most important parts of the website where you can search the library's collection. Basically, here you can see the simple search boxes for our three large and most important databases. This means that searching here will automatically take you to the original interface of the databases, which offers many more options, such as advanced search options. The first one here is the catalog button, which will search the books, journals and other documents of the Klebersberg Library. This is in fact the searchable database of the library's physical collections, also known as the catalog, also called Kultum. The second is the online resources button, which gives us a wide range of search options for ebooks, e-journals and articles called EDS, which is the full name of EBSCO Discovery Services. The third tab is the Content Combined Search, which is the unified search interface of the repositories. Repositories are special databases built by the library to collect various types of content that are mainly related to the university. For example, the collection of academic and literary publications related to the university, our electronic archive of teaching materials produced at the university, or the repository of PhD theses written at the university. Although both the main page and the menu emphasize searching in the collections, before you can do this, you need to be aware of how to use the library before you can do so. The next menu item we will look at is using the library. Here you will primarily find information on registration, circulation and other library services. When you click on the registration menu, the most important thing for you is the enrollment instruction. You will find this under the registration button. For example, what documents are required to enroll and what fees, if any, are involved. We also have a related video here for you to watch. The circulation menu will show you our circulation policy. Here you can find out how many books you can borrow and for how long. For example, you can check the late fee or how much you will have to pay if you don't return the books on time. To make sure you avoid this, the library offers two services. The What Did I Borrow service and the Online Renewal service. Both services require you to log in to the catalog and once logged in, you will see the books you have borrowed, their expiration dates, and have the options to easily renew them online, but only if the book status is renewable. For example, textbooks cannot be renewed online, you have to bring them back personally, and if you still need the book, you can borrow it again, if it has not already been reserved by someone else. Moreover, as will be discussed in a later lesson, if a book is not available in our library, you have the options to borrow it from another library via interlibrary loan. Find out how to do this here. The user education menu is important because it contains information about the current course as well as a lot of useful resources and video tutorials by library staff on specific topics such as online search or database search tips. In addition to providing services students, the Klebersberg Library also focuses on supporting research. 
We also offer a wide range of resources to support the academic work of teachers at the University of Szeged. You can read more about this under Scholarly Publishing Menu. Now that we covered how to use the library, let's look at how to actually use the library services and collections. Under the Search and Find menu, if you click on Printed Books and Journals, you can see the available reading areas in the library from floor to floor. This is also important because the subject areas of the volume, titles, books differ on each level. You can also read here how to use the documents in our storages. Here you can find out how to request books from the storages. There is a useful link at the bottom of the page. If you click on the link, you can keep track of the status of your current request, when it will be available and on which floor. If you go back to the Search and Find drop-down menu, and click on Online Resources, you will find a number of useful resources there too. On the one hand, under Online Journals, Books and Databases menu, we can see online databases the university provides in alphabetical order or by subject and what journals are available through the library. So, you can not only browse them together within the EDS search interface, but also here. However, we also recommend the publication finder to our students. There will be a separate lesson on this later, where you can see search and browse only for regional language journals. It is important to know that in many cases, the online resources provided by the university can only be accessed through the university network. This is why we offer a service to access online resources from home. To do this, you will need special proxy settings in your browser, which you can find out how to do here. We have also talked about the content repositories. Here you can find the combined search engine, which is also available with the search button on the home page. Here you can see all the repositories created by the Klebesberg library and search them individually if you want. As I mentioned before, it is also worth looking at our thematic shells or special collections so you can be more specific in your search for the literature that interests you. These can be special collections on the shelves of the reading areas, such as the Hungary or the military collection, but we also have collections that are available in separate rooms with different services. For example, the Oriental collection or the collection of old books and manuscripts. You can read about them by clicking on these menu items. The About menu offers the history of the library and also related useful and interesting information. Thank you for your attention.